You know, Nintendo has always been the butt of the joke when it comes to gaming recently. Sure, you can joke about the Red Ring of Death, or the PSN hacking, or Herp Derp Game Newell, but Nintendo's shitty online service, stupid name of the console, horrible shovelware like, I don't know, Anubis 2, Ninja Breadman, all those frickin' stupid giant bug games, and Redneck Jamboree, and Chicken Shoot horrible multi-plats, and the milking of Mario, Zelda, and Metroid to death has, to me and a lot of real gamers out there, led to the Wii's current state of just not being taken seriously in the eyes of us fat fucking gamers out there. To be honest, I have pretty much given up on the Wii ever, you know, coming up with a new good idea. Like, I don't know, maybe improving their horrible library of WiiWare games. Having a flying adventure Star Fox game, maybe a new Pikmin game, or maybe making something over, you know, that's not fucking platforming, or anything interesting. Now, all Nintendo really does is whore themselves out to casual gamers that probably don't have motor skills or just don't really like video games in general, or the really hardcore Nintendo elitists, but that's another story. You know, I mean, they'll jerk off to anything with Mario's grill slapped on it. Or, to sell their product, they will just really act, just, or act different at least. I mean, really, a lot of their quote-unquote innovations are mostly just the things that someone already beat them to the punch a long, long time ago, such as the case with their new console, the Wii U. And I was going to do a commentary on the trailer itself that was presented at E3, but since Windows Movie Maker, yes, I still use it, is being a fucking bitch, um, I have no choice but to just give this part that will be unscripted. Um, basically what I thought was, it, it just seems like a whole bunch of ideas that are just not gonna work, that could be fucked up really easily, and could just go wrong. Alright, let's see what this thing can do. It can play on the controller, you know, play the game on the controller, and you can still be it while someone's watching TV or something. Now, to answer that, all I have to say is, why don't you just wait until the person's done with the TV, or wait till someone's done with their game, or do a quick save, or save the game, or or anything besides putting it on the fucking controller and making this elaborate piece of shit. I mean, goddamn. And how do I know this thing won't get connection issues like the Wiimote did? I mean, this just sounds like Nintendo is gonna fuck it up real good. But I, I, I can just see it right now. And also, I must say, this seems just kind of unnecessary, like I said. It's just... Why don't you just fucking wait? Um, let's see, what else was presented? Oh, you can play a retarded version of Checkers, I guess you'd call it Wii Chess. Um, oh, and they have a new Wii Sports coming out, oh boy, a rehash of a game that came with the fucking console. Oh boy! Oh, and we're gonna complicate the fuck out of it with these new controls. Just what Wii Sports needed. You know, Wii Sports was a simple, but kind of fun game, and now we're going to complicate the fuck out of it. Alright, that that sounds cool. That sounds great to start out of console. I mean, that's just, that's just brilliant right there. And the disappointing thing about this year's E3 is that all this was supposed to be great new games that all the Nintendo fags have been saying were going to be announced were not mentioned in the slightest. I mean, where is Pikmin 3 sniping as fun? I mean, where's Lost Dragon Soul Japanese game? I mean, you assured me it was going to be there, pal, but I don't see it anywhere. I mean, where is Pikmin 3, Nintendo fanboys? Yeah, I, I've been arguing with you in the comments, and I haven't seen it. I, I don't know, man. It's just not there. You sure me it was going to be there, but back to the Wii U. And now I just want to look at the controller itself, because I think this is going to be the big killer of the whole console. 
just like it was for a lot of you know ge consoles that were known to be the worst, like the Atari 5200 and all that. All right, now let me just say this: this thing reminds me of two things. One, the Atari Jaguar controller. Why? Because this thing is humongous. I mean, Jesus Christ, this thing is fucking overload. It's overkill. I mean, it looks too big to be a controller, let alone a standalone controller for an official home video game console. I mean, it looks too big to be even a handheld. I mean, this would be bad back in the 90s. I mean, also like the Jaguar, it's so fucking clunky. I can tell you that people with small hands are shit out of luck because they are going to not be able to hold this or control it in the heat of the game. And the second thing that this fucking trash reminds me of is th remember back in 2007 to early 2009 when a lot of people were making these shitty Windows Movie Maker default blue white text, you know, fake console controller videos. Well, it looks like one of those. You know, the idea of a big-ass screen and controllers, there's their face buttons on the top, and, you know, it's just everywhere. It looks like one of those. I mean, and just the thought of all that shit, you know, the big-ass screen and the joysticks or face buttons on the top, I guess is just so stupid to me and so unesthetically presentable that it is hard to imagine it being real. But here it is, right in front of me. It was at E3. <laughs> you know, Reggie himself brought it out. I mean, you know, the thing doesn't even have a fucking grip for it, which is one of the stupidest things you can do with the controller. They are going to release probably some kind of attachable grips, probably, as a peripheral, like the Wii will, and call it the Wii Grip. I would honestly not be surprised if Nintendo fails with this console because they are not going to have the fanboys and the elitists forever. And that was their, you know, their major cushioning. And this is what's either going to cushion this thing or not. I mean, this is a really big investment on the fanboys. And the thing looks really bad. I'm going to be quite honest. I think a lot of people are going to leave Nintendo because of this thing. I mean, Nintendo's fallen on its ass before. I mean, just look at the links I've left in the description. They have made a bunch of things in the past, from 1889 to 2011. I mean, they've made, what is this, a bunch of failed peripherals for one thing. And before they were into gaming, they made a whole bunch of failed businesses, such as they were a taxi company, they were a TV network, and they were even once a love hotel. That's right, Hotel Nintendo. I mean, wow. Just <laughs> And there were even a card company ones, which I think might still be in Japan. Might. So, just, just yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on this whole Wii U thing. And if you really can't see how stupid this thing is, I mean, with, you know, the just gimmickiness. I mean, if you didn't see it in the trailer, I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, you put the Wii U controller on the ground to play golf and to look at the ball. I mean, <laughs> how how crazy is that? I mean, it's not like anyone's gonna step on it or anything. No, no, no. Just put that fucking thing on the ground. And dirty that thing up. That white piece of controller up. Oh yeah, it's, that's perfect. No one's gonna spill anything on it. No one, no, that's not gonna get, get dirty or anything. I, but yeah, that's that's just all I gotta say about this. But before I go, I just gotta say, I'm not gonna really talk about the E3 conferences in general, because all I have to really say is, is it just me, or is E3 nothing but a business conference now? I mean, I know, you know, businessmen are there and everything, but come on, attract the gamers with something. Don't be a fucking bore fest.